to Marriott the 18th. Hello to... I'm real happy with how my lettering stamp is turning out. Hi, Giovanna. Hello, hello. <laughs> you always encourage. It's a big improvement on what I've been doing for lettering. And I'm really happy with how I've been uh, varnishing the front of these. And they're really of these ready to address. So I my goal is to get these mailed by the 20th. <laughs> Hi, Lori. Hi, Janet. Hi, Deborah. Welcome, ladies. Welcome, welcome. Hi, Cheryl. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So I'm pretty happy with how these are turning out. Whoops, I got some going a different direction here. So I'll finish these up probably tomorrow and get them addressed. And my goal is to get them mailed out Friday. Yeah, that'll be a big load off of my a bit off of my desk. So I want to say right off the bat, I know several of you have been in several live streams today, and um, I understand if you need to call it a night. <laughs> I understand. Welcome in here. Hi, Ruth. Hi, Rhonda. Um, you know, there are several people live streaming now. So don't feel like you have to be in every one all the time. Um, I just, I want to give you a break if you need it. <laughs> because I know sometimes I need a break from everything. So hi. Hi, Aunt Beck. So... I just kind of wanted to say that right off the bat. I won't be offended if you come in and say, I just wanted to drop in and say hello, but I'm on my last leg and I got to go to bed. <laughs> oh, I took a little nap after Aunt Beck's live. It was run, run, run all day today. It was run, 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 run. But I took a little nap and I'm feeling good right now. I went to the thrift store. Yeah, I went to the thrift store. Let's do my thrift haul. Let's do my thrift haul. It was it's not a big thrift haul. Oops. I knocked my jar of paint brushes over. <laughs> I'm always knocking that jar of paint brushes over. I have to find a different spot for it. I got me some gloves because I need some winter gloves and they were only two dollars. They're nice one. They're nice enough for me to wear tags <laughs> so yeah got me a I have a pair of gloves but I, I have trouble finding gloves that you know I feel like I need to put a cuff on them <laughs> these are a little better at least they go over my start to go over my wrist but I bought a pair in Walmart last year that they said they were large but they really didn't fit my hands so I got me a pair of gloves I bought me another another top to wear. This will go in the laundry. I, I'm buying these all the time when I see ones that I feel like I can wear. This is a this is a chaps, I don't know. Uh, it's a big one. I like them big. I like them big and ba baggy. This one's made in India. It's uh, 100% cotton. I buy them big because I do find, even when I wash them in the cool water, they tend to shrink up on me. What else did I get? I got some of these little <laughs> brads for 25 cents. They're baseballs, but they look to me like knitting balls. So I'm thinking I could do knitting with these or soccer balls, whatever they are. 25 cents. I got some Maybe. Uh, let's do the little stuff first. I guess that all the little stuff. I thought I got some trim. I did. It's kind of standard trim. It's got, it's the little roses, and it's got a little piece of metallic woven through it. 
That's kind of cute. It'll go nice on ATCs for 50 cents for that. I don't know where it was priced at $5.31, but whew. then I got one more little piece here. Where is it? Right here. Right where? Where did you go? Oh, it's here. <laughs> this might be Bakelite. I don't know. It, it, Bakelite is uh, pre-plastic pre, uh, before the plastics take took over, but this color for it. The lady didn't know what it was. I said, they use a mark maker. You can get these cheap and use them as mark makers. Um, you don't want to roll it on your jelly plate because it would probably indent your jelly plate but you could mark make in, in paint but not with this one i think this one might be bakelite bakelite is a collectible uh, they i don't think they make bakelite anymore it's kind of a precursor to all your plastics uh, trying to get the price tag on off of it onto my thumb anyway that's all the little stuff i got it wasn't a big haul then i got a couple books because they had christmas books on sale but this was a this wasn't christmas this was 100 afghans and i thought oh there are some pretty ones in there maybe i'll make an afghan someday <laughs> so, so i got it and if I don't make an Afghan, it'll make a nice altered book. And then, and then I got this Norman Rockwell book. The crab. It's Christmas. Doesn't matter to me. Looks like somebody. Oh no! What I like about this is it's a fold out here. I'm gonna sneeze. Excuse, excuse, excuse me. What I like about it, it's a fold out. And I, I go, oh, there's Fimsville. <laughs> there's Fimsville from Norman Rockwell painted Fimsville. Kind of. <laughs> oh. And of course, this is all Christmas. Norman Rockwell Christmas. kind of fun to look at it so I got that just for just to have it I guess and I got a I, I'm saving this out for later what did I do with it what did I do with it hold the phone let me set the sack down yeah I got a reminisce holiday book. The memories that they're sharing. And I love the old photographs. I like to read through this. And this, I was telling Giovanna and Aunt Beckstream that there's a picture in here. We were talking about illustrating. And on page 158, there's this little girl looking in the store window here. That's just inspired me. Drawing inspiration from that. But my bargain of the night. Let me look at chat before I show the bargain. Let me welcome everybody. See, Javon is here. Buffering. Ah, that buffer monster. Dee Dee had to. Well, it was blurry for Dee Dee this morning. She came on with her mother. They were going to color this morning. And. Dee Dee gave up because it got blurry and she said she wasn't going to show that book color from if it was going to be blurry so they said they'd try again tomorrow so Dee Dee Willingham might be on tomorrow morning can someone put Mr. Buffer in the corner please I wish I wish Janet hi Jennifer Dalton welcome welcome what does Aunt Beck say she says I have everyone address, but Mary too. Well, Mary too comes in to my stream in the mornings. 
I don't know if she'll be in here tonight, but uh, just kind of, I'll remind her tomorrow morning too. She probably had to go fix supper or something right after your stream. She probably got sidetracked. Yay. And Beck, those snowman envelopes that you did were just wonderful. Just wonderful. I was late to end Beck's stream. I, um, I left early enough. I left before 10 o'clock this morning. But I went to the thrift store first. <laughs> and then I went to the post office. I had to, I, I wanted to get a priority box, but then their largest fit. Um, for care heart, I did, I adopted a hardest and, uh, they send you a wish list and I got some of the items on the wish list, but the, the dimension on it would not fit the largest box. So I, I used the box, I used the box that I carried it in, but I had to tape it all up. So I had to go get I tell you, I did a rotten job of wrapping those things for her. I'm going, oh, oh, dear. But they're pretty cool things. I would take them. <laughs> so I hope she enjoys them. But just the, just running around getting that all together. And I had to go to the bank. And I had to pay my phone bill. And speaking of phone, if you see right here, whoops, right here down at the bottom, I've got double-sided tape here holding the back of my phone on. And I don't think my battery is expanding. It doesn't look like the battery's expanding. It looks like the adhesive is coming loose. And because uh, I know what an expanding battery is. But he told me that at the Verizon store that they'd have to send it in. And it cost me the deductible of $149. And I'm going $149 for you to glue the back of my phone. You know, I think that's highway robbery. And uh, he said, well, you could take it to one of the computer st repair stores in town and see if they can't glue it back on for you. I think I don't want to mess with it too much or I'll put you all in time out. But I think the back is just, you know, I'm pretty hard on it. And I think the I think the back is just I think the adhesive is just working loose on it. I know when a battery expands, when the battery gets hot, expands. Uh, but it, before it got, gets that hot, it should give me a warning. And uh, I like the Galaxy Galaxy Five where I could change my own battery if I needed to. <laughs> so where you can. If you buy a phone, you can get a free device of a like bit manner. And so I said, can, can we talk about that and see what's what? And he started to look it up for me. And I, I was telling him, I said, I would, I, I would really like a Note, a Galaxy Note 10. And uh, he said, well, you don't want the 10 or the 10E. And I said, well, let's look at the 10E first. And he started looking it up, and I started to explain to him that I wanted my phone number. I said, if I get two devices, I want a, a note and uh, a phone. And I said, I want my, my, my phone number on my phone just like this one. And, uh, and then I just want to use the, the note off of my Wi-Fi and off of my, the web. And he said, you can't do that. He says, if you get two devices, you have to have two accounts. And I said, I'm not going to pay for two phone bills. <laughs> so that went down the hole real fast. And so I walked out of the Verizon very disappointed. Not only would I have to ha pay them $149 deductible for them to glue the back on my phone back on, uh, the two devices things, I'd have to have two separate phone accounts, two separate phone bills. And I said I wasn't going to do that. <laughs> I said, that's really kind of a jip. You know, I said, oh, I didn't say it that way. I said, that sucks. That's what I said. I said, you got a pad. So anyway, hi, Samantha. So I kind of walked out of there real disappointed. And my phone, my phone is still 
taped together on the back. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with it. It it has to have something. I'll probably have to call the computer stores and see if they can they can put an adhesive on it. I think the adhesive is just working loose on it. I don't think they glued it together good. <laughs> it doesn't look like it doesn't, you know, and their battery expands, it curves. You get that concave curve, and I don't see that on this. So we'll see. We'll see. I'll have to do something with it. So I walked, I had to go there, and uh, I, I went to Walmart. I had to pick up some things at Walmart. <sighs> and then I came home. I wanted to, oh, I had to go back to the post office to mail all my things after I taped my box up. And then it was 2.30 by the time I got home, and Aunt Beck had already been on for for half an hour or so, and it took me a little time to get settled in. Then I watched Aunt Beck, but I was tired. I it wore me out. The day wore me out. Hi, Susan. Welcome, welcome. Samantha's here. Sherry is here. Hi, Sherry. Sherry B. Samantha's here. Holly is here. Sharon Lombard's here. Janet and Barb fill in and Hannah's. Samantha and Aunt Beck. Holly, you had it in the corner for a long, long time. <laughs> Being good for Santa, I'll bet. <laughs> Susan and Holly are just going back and forth. Yeah, let's give that old buffer, Mr. Buffy, a cookie. You can have my corner, Holly. <laughs> yes. Bargain I got today, though. And I saw this. This is the last thing I got. And I'm going to pull this off, and I'll show that to you later. But this was, I always check out this one spot. One, two, and I think there's another one floating around in here. There's a point and a whole bunch of cartridges. And, uh, well, let's just open it up. There's a fountain pen here and a shaper fountain pen there. But look at that price tag. I couldn't, I was looking at it and I couldn't find the price tag. And they wanted $5 for it. That's what that tag says. And I couldn't find it. Well, the clerk happened to be walking by. The clerks that just happened to be walking by. I'll tell you, I don't know if it's my white hair or what. And I said, I can't find the price tag on this. And she took it out of my hands and she looked at it. It's really stapled shut, but I kind of like to save this bag. I don't have a... Let's get these. They really stapled this shut. And anyway, so she looked it over, and she couldn't find it. And we were both looking at it. And and uh, she said, well, she's, she was going to price it for me. And uh, that's when I saw this. And I said, oh, it's $5. Well, no, she said $1.50 is what she said. She said a dollar fifty. She says I'll I'll charge you a dollar fifty, and I was looking at it, still looking at it, and I said, oh here it is at five dollars, and she said, oh she said that's not worth five dollars. <laughs> she says ah she says I'll only charge you a dollar fifty for it, and I said are you sure? And she said yeah. She said I'll write a note on it and take it up to the desk for you, and so she did. She wrote a note for me. Calligraphy said a dollar fifty. And so I got one, two, three, four, five fountain pens. I don't know how they're working, but we're going to find out. We'll see if there's any inside. I, I want to save my bag, so I hope you guys are patient with me. Anyway, I got this whole bag for $1.50. I am lucking out at the thrift stores this week. And I'm going, it must be my white hair. <laughs> You know, I did not say to her, I really, really, really want it when I bought all that trim. We marked that trim. Well, at least she marked that trim at $4.99. Not even the same. That other place was Goodwill. This was this Catholic store that I like to go to. And she said, oh, she said, that's, she said $5 was too much for it. She said she was only going to charge me $1.50. 
And so, since it's a Catholic store, they have a little donation jar up at the counter. So when I paid, I was feeling guilty. So I dropped some money in the donation jar. <laughs> I thought, man, that was a bargain. I'll give them a little back. <laughs> uh, but I still got a bargain, even with my little donation. I think I got a bargain. There, this is the last staple. I'm anxious to see how these pens write. Sometimes these pens dry up. I do have some pen cleaner, but uh, I'm anxious to see how they write. Let's pull this out and see what's in here. Oh, look, here's the, here's the red. Oh, well, there's nothing in here. This is just the, is that what this is? No, this has a, that has a tip in it. You have to put a tip in one of those. And then there's some extra cartridges here. Jet black. So, I don't know. There's another pin in there besides those two. Let's see what's inside of here. Wow. Look, there's a... What is this? It's a calligraphy pen. Let's see if it writes. Yeah, it writes real nice. Got a red calligraphy pen there. Two Schaefer things. A black fountain pen. Oh, I guess these things grew. That's dry. Does it have anything in it? I have to figure out how these tips come out. Probably have to. I don't have the strength in my hands to pull that apart. Let's see if this other one will come apart. Get my pliers will. As a cartridge. No, there's nothing. I don't think it makes a difference. Let's see if I can get it to write. Uh oh. Uh, uh. I might spill ink all over me if I do it that way. I think you're supposed to drop it in there and then put your pen and screw it on. There it goes. Probably have to let it float down. It. Oh, there it comes. I see something. Who knows how old these are. I'll have to work with it and see if I can get it. The pen. I don't know how... Let's put the flow down in there. Anybody know anything about fountain pens? I'm going to do the no-no and dip it in some water. There it goes. 
Just needed a little help. Wow. Wow, I'm going to keep this one out and play with it for a little bit. Keep, I'll keep that whole box out. I'll put that back in there. So I got two fountain pens there. And one here includes the instruction book. And a whole bunch of cartridges and three fountain pens here. Wow. And then I've got a grid here to practice with. Grid for nibs. Medium nibs. Fine, medium, and broad. Looks like I got some fine paper to play with. Some calligraphy writing paper. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. Some parchment paper. Oh, parchment paper is expensive. Oh, you got Hobby Lobby at $6.49. <laughs> it wasn't that expensive. What's under here? Oh, some practice paper. Oh, well, I have no excuse not to practice my handwriting now. And then this is tracing paper. This is the empty cartridge. So I got all of that for $1.50. How about that? I've been wanting to practice at <laughs> that, that Pierre, Pierre Gustafson does. So all up for $1.50. We'll see how, how long those pens will write, though. Sometimes they dry up on you. We'll see. But the price tag there said $5. And she said, oh, it's not worth $5. <laughs> I said, are you sure? She said, no. She says, I'll take it up there and mark it for $1.50. And so I did drop a little in the donation jar because I was feeling guilty of going, well, I love a bargain, but <laughs> I don't want to cheat you either. Varsity fountain pens at AMA -A -A are about 11 to 12 bucks for a set of seven colors. Yeah. Now these are, these are, uh, those varsity ones, are those the, the kind that are disposable? Let's put these back on the... I got me a pair of gloves. It's, I'm going to need me a decent pair of gloves. They don't have to be beautiful. I'm going to put all this stuff back in the sack. Whatever I did with the sack. So I had... That was my thrift haul. And I dropped, knocked my paintbrushes over here. Now, let me pick up my paintbrushes. Continually trip over these jars. That's because I have my paintbrushes like that. <laughs> and I put them right down here where I walk. And I move my chair back and forth. And I knock them over. You think I'd find a better place for them. Boy, I knocked this one clear open. And let me see what I've done here. I need to make sure that... My computer still plugged in. It is. So that's kind of how my day went today. But I'm real happy with the progress on my mail by date, my goal date that I set for me. I've been working on it pretty hard. So, all of that said, let me put these books over here away. All of that said, where's my bag? I mean, I think I paid $13 for this whole bag of stuff. Now tell me, if you, th these gloves are new. These are not used gloves. I know what used gloves look like. This spare part thing has never been opened. I got it for 25 cents. You pay what? $2.99 or $3.99 retail. This, they were charging $5.31 for that. So let's just say retail was, what, 
three ninety nine four and nine nine and a half. And let's just say we get these gloves at five, which probably would cost more than five if you bought them even at Walmart. So right there, and this I'm I'm pretty sure this is Bakelite. I think this is worth more than a dollar. I think if I took it to an antique dealer, they would be able to. It could be plastic, but it, it just doesn't feel like plastic. It's heavier. I think at an antique store, this would go for at least $5, if not more. And if it's Bakelite, it might go for more, depending on the dealer and what they know about sewing items. I will say at the same antique, uh, the same thrift store, they've got an antique sewing machine that they got it marked for. Oh, and then there's these envelopes. These envelopes have never been opened. What do they retail at? Well, we'll just say at least $3. So, and then I got that top and that calligraphy set. Yeah, I like the thrift. I, I go with that best with that. So let's open the happy mail. I got happy mail today, too. This card came from Aunt Beck. I'm not going to show the front of it because let's get, I found my palette nice. Um, if I show the front of it. I show the addresses. I don't, she just put a Christmas stamp on it anyway, so that's good. Um, but Aunt Beth painted envelopes in her stream. That made my day. I came home and she was giving away six of them, and my 51 number was a lucky number. I chose 51, and I think the number was 55. So I got one of the six. I want to keep the envelope. There we go. Aunt Bex does such a beautiful job with her cards. A Christmas. I'm buffering now. Yeah, let's fix the buffer. Let's send the buffer to the corner. I always buffer when I get a bunch of notifications, though. That fixed that. It. There we go. Well, I might need to refresh it later. Don, Don, and who else? Oh my goodness, what are you guys doing? Oh, Don, thank you. Who else here? And Carolyn, oh my goodness, you guys, thank you. Am I in the right chat? Am I in the right chat? Is this my chat? Oh, that's coloring book. Whew! I'm going, I don't know these people. <laughs> well, I thanked them for Kara, for Anne, or whoever's chat I was in. I was going, who's giving me super chat? <laughs> oh, dear me. That's funny. I'm going, who is she? I don't even know her. <laughs> That's because I picked up my phone and, and uh, oh, let's just look at this card. Now I'm embarrassed. Uh, you know what? Here's the thing. If you do live streams, you got to get used to doing dumb stuff. Yeah, Holly says, I wondered what you were talking about, Mary. <laughs> that funny. Isn't that funny? You know, I have to tell you, I, I'm a little embarrassed at that, but not too much. Because you've got to learn to laugh at yourself and all the dumb stuff you do. I can't tell you how many dumb things I've done on my stream. And, uh, you know, you just learn to laugh at yourself along with everybody else. I was really stupid. Oh, Aunt Beck, I love this. Now, I think she did this out of a dirty dozen. In fact, I know she did. And look, she's got one little red bulb down there. I love that little red bulb right there. And she says... Thanks for sharing this art adventure with me. 
I hope you and your family have a fabulous holiday. Becky Scott, Bernadette. I love little Bernadette. Howie, Callie, and Tiffy. Aw. Thank you. Uniquely handmade. Oh, these are so nice. This will go in my art journal, my December journal. Now, this one came from Kathy Whitney. And uh, let's put this back. Let's put this back. Oh, Javana. <laughs> Am I in the right stream? <laughs> oh, I love it, Javana. Thank you so much. You just made me feel better. <laughs> Javana, that is so sweet of you. Thank you so much. You know, I'm tempted to turn that super chat back off because I turned it on thinking that you guys would be able, if you wanted to buy super stickers, that I don't know much about super stickers. Can you only use them with uh, super chat when you do a, when you do a, I don't know. I'll have to find out more about them. I haven't had time to investigate what I got super stickers. If you bought some, you could use them in your comments and everything. Thank you so much, Javana. That was really sweet. Really sweet. Thank you. Susan says, I still have that $1.17 on my card. Aw. Well, I still have my Starbucks card. Oh, look, another tree. Oh, oh, I love it. This one came from Kathy Whitney. It's the same style of tree. Oh, thank you, Kathy. This is beautiful. Oh, I see the, the bronze and the golds and the blues in there. Isn't that beautiful? They're both beautiful. And then she's got snowflakes here. And let's see what the inside says. She says, Mary, wishing you magical holiday season. Merry Christmas and an archy new year. Kathy Whitney. Oh, you guys, you do beautiful work. I'll be putting all these cards in my art journal. Thank you so much. Oh, there's Mary, too. Mary, Aunt Beth needs you to send her your address. Because you won one of those envelopes in Aunt Beck's stream. Mary, too, you need to send Aunt Beck your mail address so that she can. She's sending out her all the other cards tomorrow. I would share it, but I, I'm kind of reluctant to share addresses. But uh, you need to send it out, Mary. <laughs> okay. Now, I want to do something here with that. Oh, and I've got one more happy mail here to open. I got happy mail today. I have to tell you, you guys are you guys are too good to me. I have no idea who this is from. But when I went to the post office today, she said, you have another package in your box. And I thought she meant a big box. No, she had this all wrapped up. And look, it's round. So I have no idea what this might be. It could it be a I'm not sure we'll see. So, <laughs> you guys, you just I'll tell you, I don't know what to think of you. Ooh, I snipped the Amazon thing when I snipped here. Here's the ticket up here. Oops. Well, we'll read it later. I'll have to remember not to snip right in the corner when I snip these paper bag things. What is it? Oh, look. It's some of that uh, masking paper for uh, when they paint their walls. Water-based materials, latex, plaster, drywall, etc. Easy mask from Crime Map. Would this be? Would this be from Jersey? Because she's the one that. Let's see who sent this. It doesn't say here. 
it doesn't say who sent it to me. It just says item. Is there another ticket in there someplace? Usually there's two tickets in here. Woo, yeah, there's another ticket. But it still says send a thank you note. You can learn more about your gift or start a return one here. It doesn't say who sent it. Fess up. Mary, Mary, please look above from Sam. Let's see what. Wait a minute. Oh, Samantha, thank you. A dollar ninety nine. Thank you so much. You guys are too sweet. Ah, oh, thank you. Mary, too. Um, yeah, okay. Aunt Beck posted her email address above. So you, I guess you guys are working it out. Thank you so much, Samantha. That's so sweet of you. And Giovanna, I'm tempted to take that super chat away again, though, because I feel so guilty taking your guys' money, you know. And you guys send me stuff. We could do a scroll. We some scroll art on this like one. Maybe we'll do something with that tonight. Oh, Journey. Journey. Wait a minute. Was that Journey? Hold it. Am I mixed up here? Wait. Wait a minute. Journey was a dollar ninety-nine. I thought I saw Sam too. Both of you did. Oh, thank you, guys. It's not showing up above, but it's not showing up above. It's just showing in stream. Oh, thank you. Thank you, guys, so much. I feel so guilty taking your money. <laughs> you do. I guess, well, that's not what I'm here for. Oh, Aw, thank you, Journey. Thank you, Sam. Um, I'm adding all this. Let me write these two down. I'm keeping track of it because what I'm going to do, let me write it down here. Uh, Giovanna. Uh, oh, I want to make sure I get the right amount here. It was 10. Sam was one. 99 and journey. I'm keeping track. This is 1218. Uh, I'm keeping track of it and I'm going to add it all up. And uh, I'll add in the, the percent on my own that YouTube takes. And then we'll get something and I'll do a giveaway or I'll make art and give it away to, or I'll divide what I, I'll get a big package of something and divide it up and have a giveaway, several pieces of a giveaway. Because I feel guilty taking your guys' money. When she gets, uh, well, she uses hers for postage too. So thank you guys. But I think that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to add it all up, and then when we get to a certain amount, I'll I'll uh, I'll see what we can do, and well, I'm thinking that it might be fun to get something, some type of really nice art product that you know we can get. Now I'm just going to use Tim Holtz paper dolls as an example because there's a lot in them, you know. You get, uh, and that's just an example. You could take several of those and put in a pile here and a pile here and a pile here and a pile, make, make six piles of them, or not the, maybe the ephemera, the butterflies and flowers, and make six or seven packages, and that's only six dollars. So, you know, I, I could make some really nice giveaway baskets. 
Just give it all to the post office. Yeah. <laughs> That's about how it goes, isn't it? No, I'll give them my I'll give them my AdSense money. I'll give them my AdSense money. When you guys donate like that, I'm going to and then I'll add back in the percent that YouTube takes. I'll I'll add that back in and that'll be my contribution. Yeah, PayPal is a better way. Um, but I don't have a PayPal account. I should set up a PayPal account. I used to have one, but I got rid of it. I didn't, that was, they had some trouble at one time in the past and I didn't trust them. So I got rid of it. <laughs> so and I never set it back up again and not having that and not having Amazon, um, and being not overspend, <laughs> but I'll take the percent that YouTube, the the thirty percent that YouTube takes, and I'll add back in from my own pocketbook, and we'll get some nice, nice art things that I can divide up into packages. That's what I'm thinking now. We'll have a nice giveaway. <laughs> so I was asking in Aunt Beck's stream what you guys wanted to do tonight and i got a whole bunch of suggestions but i was thinking uh lisa is going to do a lap book she's going to do a lap book in january and i think she's already started on some of her look at this big question mark look at that big question mark in there if i can picture credits index i'm going to take all of this out look at that was there a count dracula the nocturnal creature known as dracula immortalized in a legend and the written word took his name from a brutal ruler who lurks in the dark corners of history that's reading it like dd would oh i think i saw this before that was vlad guy uh, dracula disease but I'm going to cut this apart tonight. And I have an idea of something I want to try here. So let's just, we're, we're not going to, I'm not going to do the whole book tonight. I'm just going to disassemble it. And then I'm going to go watch and see what Lisa's doing with her lap book. Um, I know she's going to start on it in January, but I thought maybe she did a little making the cover of it or something. I'll have to go see, or it was a supply list or something. But I want my lap book to be a society of idea collectors. I didn't want to cut that there, but I did. So we'll... how did it really happen? Oh, look, there's another question mark. Let's leave that stuff in there if I can. Let's see if I can. I don't know if I can get this out or not. Without... I might have to put some of those pages back in. Now, my hands are way out of the way, so just don't worry. I'm being careful. There we go. And see, when I got that package of, of uh, trim at the Goodwill, these pages came out anyway because I had cut them. I didn't mean to cut them. I love these big question marks. And how did it really happen? Let's see if I can save. Let's see if I can save that question mark in here. I don't know if I can or not. But I want this to be my society of idea collectors. And I want it to be, I want my society of idea collectors to be a composition book on composition paper. And I want this to be the holder for it. But it'll also be something that, ooh, found my, uh, my phone just blinked. That may have something to do with the back cover coming off, though, too. Am I, have I lost sound? 
read my message above about Suze. Janice says, V-Lad the Impaler. Lori! Lori popped on. Lori, what are you guys doing? Oh, what are you guys doing? Aw, thank you, Lori. You guys are angels. <laughs> Let's add it to the list. I have the list of all the others here. Let me. Did I lose? Let me know if I lose sound. Wow, you guys. I'll have to show this to my brother. He won't believe it. <laughs> He's going to start charging me rent at this rate. He's going to start charging me rent. <laughs> Thank you, Lori. That's so sweet of you. Let's see. Janet had a message. She said, please read my message above about Sue's. Mary, Mary, Mary. Message from Sue's. Sue's wrote a note to look in the package again. You can use it to mask with and art on it. To look in the package again. Oh, here it is. Suzanne. Hi, Mary. This is masking paper. Use it for art and masking. Love, Suzanne from Suzanne Hale. Thank you, Suzanne. Well, I think I'm going to start a little scroll art thing like uh, Dee Dee does with this. We might do something with mine. Suzanne, you just keep sending me stuff. <laughs> you better stop. I'm feeling guilty taking all of this. <laughs> and thank you, Lori. Thank you, Jabana and Journey and and um, um, uh, Samantha. Thank you guys so much. That's so sweet of you. I'm going to add it all up and we'll just have a... We'll, we'll decide what we want to get. We'll have a list of things that we can, we'll do that some Friday night, a list of things that we, maybe we can do that as a goal type thing and say when I reach a certain amount, we'll make a list of things that we, what we think we want, and then I'll divide it up into gift baskets and we'll have giveaways. That's how I'm going to handle it. You guys are just too sweet. I can't take all this money from you. I feel guilty. Now, AdSense and YouTube, I could take it from. And thank you, Suze. Thank you for this. This is going to be wonderful to work on. So I'm going to take this out completely. And I'd love to leave this in, but I know if I do, it will just get bent and torn. So I'm going to take the front matter off here, too. And I think I can leave the back. I don't know. Maybe I don't want to leave it in. Maybe I will take it out. Um, because I am going to, this is going to hold the composition book. Something like a, you, something like you would do for a, a, a laptop. Only it's going to hold, not a laptop, but a, a composition book for my Society of Idea Collectors. And I'll have to strengthen this spine. The spine is not very strong, if you ask me. The book board is real strong. Let me tear this off. And we'll just put this aside. Thank you so much, Suze, and, and Giovanna, and Samantha, and Journey, and Lori. You guys are so sweet. But I'm not spending that on myself. <laughs> Aw. Okay. Here's what I have. And see, composition books, this has kind of been cut there from my cutting, so I'll have to strengthen this spine. I'm not going to do it right now. What I want to do, though, it really happen. I want that title. Decide what you believe about history's intriguing mysteries. But what I want to try here, and I might mess it up, but if I do I think... I don't see a goodwill tag on it, but I got it someplace. 
Uh, I think I got it at Goodwill because I got it recently. Becky, did you stream today? Yes, she did, Journey. You missed it. She did beautiful envelopes. A lap book. Well, a lap book is a book that you can hold in your lap <laughs> and journal on. And I like this because it's so nice and strong. Um, the first lap that book that I did was a holiday journal. I did in 2012. And uh, it's out there. I did a flip through of it. It was I followed a tutorial, an online uh, Kathy Orta did a on, little online class, and she made it out of file folders. And boy, did I have fun putting that together. And I did a flip of it. It's a it's a December daily type thing before they were calling them December dailies. What I'm going to try to do here, and I don't know if it's gonna work. I'm going to try just to cut here and see if I can tear this cover off this part and leave this part. And I don't know if it's going to work. I just want the skin. I just want the top. And if I mess it up, well, you know, I can cover it with fabric or something. But see, I did a line there. Now let's see if I can get under here and tear up on it. Maybe it would, let's do a, a deeper line. And then this is a glossy cover. So to paint this, you'd probably have to gesso it or sand it. And I don't want to do all that. What I'm wanting to do is tear off the paper portion. And I don't know if it's going to tear off or not. It might. Keep my fingers out of the way. See, if I tear up that way, that's exactly what I want. That's exactly what I want to happen. And now I'll tear here. I'll cut here and on the sides. And then I can cover this and I'll just have the title. How did it really happen? And then I'll put Society of Idea Collectors and maybe my name and the date down below. That is what I'm thinking. Uh, because I want to do society, a separate Society of Idea Collector journal in 2020. I did not do that. I think I did it last year. And I didn't do it this year. And I'm finding because I don't have a separate journal, I miss it. I miss it. And I wish Dee Dee would, would do more Society of Idea Collector videos. But she's obviously having fun doing the other things. So every time I says some, say something about it, she's really quiet. She's like, go away, Mary. I'll do it when I'm ready. <laughs> So see, I think I can just tear real carefully and lift this up because it's a layered paper. And I could probably even save this. How about that? And then I can this or paint it and I won't have to worry about the glossy part. Now let's cut it over here. Ooh, I love this Shakespeare one. A lap book, uh, a lap book can just be just about what you want it to be, but usually it's a a book that you can hold in your lap and journal in or art in or uh, it's called a lap book because you say you were sitting in your recliner and you were wanted to right or something it's kind of like a portable desk only they call them lap books um am i gonna get this one um they're just kind of a just a different type of journaling this is not gonna this is pulling the plastic 
coating. Pulling this. Can I get that? I don't know if I've cut it enough. If I pull the other way. Oh, I love how this is working now. I love it. I love it. There we go. And look, I even got to say this. So let's do the other side here, down the bottom part. And then this will be the title, what I really want. I hope you get to meet new GF, Becky. Becky, I had set my alarm for three my time. Reset it for two my time. <laughs> Uh-oh, no line from me next Wednesday since it's Christmas. I wondered about that, Aunt Beck. I'll probably live stream in the morning. We go for a Christmas dinner with my nephew's family, but they aren't going to be having dinner at 4 o'clock in the morning, so... I'll probably stream real early in the morning, but it's Wednesday night. I don't know if I'll stream Wednesday night. I don't know if we'll be home. Now, we cut Thanksgiving kind of short because we didn't know what the weather was going to be like. If the weather looks bad, we'll come home early. But if the weather's good, we'll probably, well, Grandpa likes to stay and enjoy the family. So we'll probably stay later if the weather's good. So I probably will not stream Wednesday night. Hey, I want to know, I, I know Lucia's daughter had her baby, but I missed out on... All the details. Somebody fill me in on Lucia's new grandchild. Hi, Lynn. Weren't those the most wonderful envelopes? Those were really cool envelopes that Becky did. And Beck says, I'm going to stay doing lives at 3 p.m. Eastern so my UK, UK ladies can catch me. Yeah, I heard that you say that, Aunt Beck, that you like to stream in the... That's one reason why I like my morning streams. I get a lot of the international folks in my morning streams. Uh, so it's kind of nice to... It's kind of nice to be able to chat with people on the other side of the world. I love y'all. <laughs> other side of the states the other side of the world I don't know I think I'm going to have to turn this one the other way I want to slip let's turn it this way I wish I wouldn't have cut through that but I did so oops we'll have to fix that spine This is one way when you have a, a, a hard bound book that's got a kind of a plastic coated paper on the front. You have to be careful what you're doing. You don't want to cut yourself. But it's one way to get it down to the book board to where you don't have to worry about gessoing. Like I'm thinking about cutting all this out here cutting this big square out. Yeah, Mary doesn't even have her December journal done and she's already working on something for 2020. But I get inspired. Inspired with this stuff. 
And we're just kind of prepping it. We're just kind of prepping it. You got to be careful when you're using a knife and a ruler. This is not for kids. This is an adult. This is an adult stream. This is not for children under 13. We don't want them to get out a knife and a ruler, Mr. FTC man. Let's see what they're saying about Lucia. Barb says she's never ready for Christmas. Susan says, wait, did I miss something? Greg has a new girlfriend? <laughs> Cheryl says, after today, I have always wonder how did it really happen? <laughs> Especially when you're watching one of my streams, huh, Mary and Cheryl? <laughs> Susan says, I thought that picture of Tanya's son is adorable. He looks like a sweet young man. How much like an old lady did that sound? <laughs> That's what I feel like my, um, those folks that came for dinner a couple of weeks ago who surprised us. It's a, um, his, it's not a grandson by blood. He's a grandson by marriage, but he's a nice kid. He's a nice kid. He's a senior in high school. Oh, he went to the same, he goes to the same high school that I went to. And, uh, gosh, his class is only half the size of mine. I thought it would be double the size of mine. It's only half the size of mine. And, <laughs> but he's just a nice kid. I told, I told my brother, I said, he talks. You know, some, some of those young men in high school, they mumble. They don't talk. I want a kid who talks to me when I when I talk to him. You might hear a tear here. I'm tearing Shakespeare's face off. I don't want to tear him off. What am I doing here? This is glued down a little bit better. Let's see if I can get at it this way. Yeah. There we go. There we go. All righty. So we're saving that. Now I'm I'm going to cut. How did it really happen? And I'm going to cut this whole side out here. So just have patience with me. This is going to be my lap book. And I don't know. Did I save that trim out? That pretty trim. I might have, oops. Is this it? Well, that's the bookmark. I got that other package of trim here someplace. It's really pretty trim. I stack everything up here on my desk and then I can't find it because it's fallen under everything. I don't see it right offhand. I have. This is what I'm going to use for a marker, but I've got some wider trim. But I don't know if I want to cover that up. I might just mend it in here. I like that. How did it really happen? And I like the question mark. I don't find the trim. It's not supposed to. Um. Yeah, that was Princess Diana. That's Princess Diana here. Looks like some World War II, maybe invasion of Normandy or something in there. I'm not sure. Oh, that's her bouquet. And this is Shakespeare. And that looks like the, oh, you know, that big, what, not the Titanic. What was that big balloon that caught on fire? Can't remember the name of it right offhand. 
and Kennedy and walking on the moon and the pyramids and it looks like Marilyn Monroe and there's the Titanic there. <sighs> Oops, I got out of chat. Tell me about uh, this, um, Hindenburg. That's what it is. Thank you, guys. Thank you, the Hindenburg. January, Lisa will begin creating her lap book during her live streams. Here's a link to her prep video. I need to go watch her prep video. That's kind of what I'm doing right here. It's just prepping the cover. And then I'll put a composition book in here. Now, the composition book is going to be much smaller. So I'm thinking I can even maybe, maybe uh, my composition books grow fat, though. So we'll see. I don't want to keep it skinny just so it'll expand this later on. I'll keep it like this for now. But if it if if my book grows fat and starts going like a what do they call that? An alligator mouth or whatever, when it gets like that, I will split the spine and make the spine wider. But I love this. How did it really happen? And then I just took those pictures off and that's I'm gonna put society by S O I C hashtag S O I C and 2020, and then I'll document on the back here, or maybe put an envelope, or maybe put an envelope in here. I might end up splitting this spine anyway. I want to know about Lucia's new grandchild. Does anybody know the details? Was it a little girl? The weight? Yeah, oh, and Beck says, Mary did a dr double dirty dozen last Friday, and a baby New Year's was one of the prompts. And Aunt Beck did a, a foam uh, baby doll. And she's going to, we're going to work some some way with the, the uh, foam. Are you going to have us do a foam stamp, Aunt Beck, in one of your streams? Barb, I still have a Time magazine, and U.S. Today or Newsweek from Diana's death. I really loved her i got stuck with the baby new year so i just do not know yeah i'm not really sold on what i did with mine i really struggled with it and i struggled all night with that thing and i still was not happy at four o'clock in the morning i quit <laughs> i had enough by four o'clock i wasted all that time on a double dirty dozen and i don't like it I should have quit while I was ahead. So we'll see what I can do with it. I might, Cheryl said, just paint it out, paint gold over it. That sounds like a good idea. I did put gold in the background, and that helped. Now, let's see. I want to cut here. cut a little deeper than what I've been cutting. So I could put some uh, pen holders. I'll have to go see how uh, Lisa prepped hers and see if I can get some ideas. An envelope. I might... Oh, uh, not an envelope, but one of those project bags. I think it was either uh, Petals and Dream or Norma who sent me some project bags. And I know you guys have been collaging on them. And I might do that for to hold pens and pencils and things like that. And I want I want to make tabs for the. Society of Idea Collector tabs. I had 18 of them in my. I did it, but I, um, I, I think I incorporated it into my journal, and I didn't have as many tabs. And I kind of lost track of what I was doing. And I think I'm going to go back to my original 18 tabs in my Society of Idea Collectors. I had uh, mind maps, of course, and lists. And questions 
And uh, let's see, what else did I have? I had YouTube as a tab. I channel YouTube. And uh, what else? I have to think what else I had here. Uh, Oh, what else did I have? I had 18 of them. Stamping. I'll have to go back and look at my original videos and see all the different tabs. Yes, I think I had one for ideas. And I think I had one for... Uh, like websites and stuff like that. That one didn't grow very big. Words, I think words was a tab. Although that one probably didn't grow very big either. This worked really nice. I'm I'm happy with how this worked out. So see, I just peeled it right off. I doubt if I keep this. Well, I don't know, I might. Myths are flesh and blood. A Robin Hood, Lady Godiva, and King Arthur merely the stuff of legend, or did they live and breathe? Timeless questions. How did the universe begin? What happened to the dinosaurs? Who were the first humans? Mysteries for the millennium. Will we ever travel to other planets? Is there intelligent life out there? How will the Earth end? Superstars are... Of antiquity. How did Caesar and Cleopatra really die? Why was Constantine the Great so great? What happened between the Queen of Sheba and King Solomon? From the beginning of time, the mystery and drama surrounding historic events and famous people. I want to put a Fibsville tab in here in my Society of Idea Collectors because we've got all those character maps. Now, I probably will not put the character maps in here. It'll be that fat. But <laughs> So that's all to do with this. Uh, I'm going to go watch tr uh, Lisa's prep video. And I'll probably put a, some envelopes or maybe one of those project bags in here and expand this spine. This I can tell you right now, the spine, a one-inch spine, is not going to do it for me. However... However, if you carry this in your lap, you really don't want a big, thick book. I found out from experience, too, that you want something. It's okay to carry it around, but you really want something you can hold in your lap and work on. And if you, I start putting in a project bag and folders and all of that in here, it's going to be big and thick, and I won't be able to work on it in my lap. What I'll probably do is take the composition book out if I do something like that and work on the composition book separately. Really like this for a Society of Idea Collector book. So we're going to just save this mess here. <laughs> That's my prep for... My lap book, Society of Idea Collector. I don't know what I did with the inside, but here it is. We'll do fussy cutting in here because there's a lot of fussy cuts in here. Ooh, how movies make history. A survey taken after the movie JFK had become controversial found that more than half of the Americans below age 30 believes Stone's version of the events. One of the most worrisome examples so far, of a film bending history to its own purpose. Ooh, I don't know if I like that. It's like, we'll make a movie and we'll tell you what history really was, what we think it was, rather than what it really was. I'm going to put these in between the pages here to keep them straight. There we go. Come back to that in another day. Ha! Huh. Did I leave my tea in the other room? I think I did. I'm going to go get my iced tea. I'm getting thirsty. Let's put my knife blade away. Let's put my palette knife away. Let's put this beautiful ruler that Annie V gave me away. So my eyeglasses. I'll leave this right here for a minute while I go get my iced tea because I'm thirsty. 
I got all those calligraphy pens and I got all these paintbrushes on the board. <laughs> Let me pick up my paintbrushes. I just got a bargain with those calligraphy pens. I can't wait to, to see how they write. Let me put these paintbrushes back in this jar. I kicked the jar over. I need to get that hobby cart over here. I cleaned out that hobby cart. And then put that next to my desk here. So I can reach for things and I know where it's at. Hold on, I'm going to go get my iced tea. It's just right in here by my chair. You don't want to see the floor in here. It's horrible. <laughs> I'm ashamed of the floor. I got books all over the place. I got my thrift haul behind me. All right, what are we going to do next? Let's see. Shall we play with this mask paper that Suzanne sent me? Let's see what you guys are chatting about. Susan says, Barb, I still have the time. Oh, I have to go way down here. Wow. Oh, wait. I saw a red line. Mary, post from Lucia. Hey, Fibsville peeps. I'm a grandmother. Number three was born 12, 15, 19 at 10, 19 p.m. Seven pounds, six ounces. Mama and baby are doing well. Was it a girl or boy? Oh, it's a boy? It was a boy. Susan already knew it was a boy. Hubby says there's no intelligent life here. <laughs> Holly says, hi, Sue Thomas. Welcome, welcome. Let's see, I, Susan says, I'm putting a suitcase type handle on some kind on mine. I know it's going to be heavy. Well, that's a good idea. Oh, you're not that late, Sue. I'd this, the only thing I've really done is did my thrift haul. I opened Happy Mail, and I cut the top pages off of this book cover. The top, um, well, there was a picture here and a picture here. And this is real glossy, and it's hard to paint over glossy book covers. So I wanted to save the title. This is going to be my lap book for 2020 and i'm going to put i think i'm going to put hashtag soic stands for society of idea collectors that's a dd willingham thing and then um i'll put hashtag soic and then i'll put 2020 down here and then i cut the back out here that had all kinds of text there you know like back of books do and I can cover this with either paper or brick or something. It'll be easier to work on with just the book board. So now I'm going to go look and see what how Lisa prepped hers because I haven't watched her prep video. So let me set this down. Let's see. Cheryl says, hello, Sue. Here we are again, Cheryl, Sue says. And I have to tell you guys, for those of you that go to several streams on a day, it does not hurt my feelings if you're too tired to come to mine or you need to leave early or something. Because I know, I know today. Sue so says, I have a few I watch and I will be watching one and another one comes on. Yeah, that's how it goes. G, hi, G. Hi, G, Brody. Welcome, welcome, G. Susan says, yes, played with the paper. <laughs> Cheryl says she's watched four people. She's ready for a nap. I understand. you see what I did with that book, Lisa? Did you see what I did with the book? Let me show her what I did. Because I'm getting, I'm prepping. I have to go watch your, your um, lap book prep video. But this is going to be my last book. It was a Reader's Digest book. Let me set this phone over here before I drop it. And it's a Reader's Digest book. How did it really happen? And this is that plastic-coated paper. And I just took my knife.
picture here and I just cut along the line and then I got under it with like my my blade and my palette knife and I just peeled it because I cut all along here and I just peeled it off just like a layered paper and I did the same thing down here I'm going to put hashtag society of idea collectors because my lap book is going to be a society of idea collector journal and then there's going to be 2020 down here and then I did the same thing here I cut off all that text on the back. Thank you, Janet, for dropping those links. And then I I gutted it. So I'm at the point now I'm going to go watch your video, Lisa. And oops, I blew all the paper, Amazon papers away there. <laughs> so that's cut as far as I'm going to go with that. Suzanne sent me this Bless her heart, this masking paper. General purpose masking paper for water-based materials. Latex, plaster, drywall. Painters use this, but Dee Dee Willingham does a scroll. She'll do a scroll, and but her, her scrolls are huge. And she ends up cutting them. I'm going to take this off here. She ends up cutting them off. Oh, this is pretty, this is pretty thin. That's. I wonder how. I wonder how it'll take paint. Well, it says it'll take it, so we'll see. Let's let's grab the hold of the ruler again here. One of the rulers. Then Annie V sent me three rulers, because she says, "Mary, you're always saying you're losing your rulers," so she sent me three of them. <laughs> There, that looks pretty good. So, I I think we'll do a scroll. Do we want to do it this way or this way? Dee Dee does hers this way, and then she lets the scroll fall off in her lap, I think. I think that's what I'll do. Because this would probably, this is... Um, This is nine inches. So if I want to double this up, I have a half inch where I can use for glue for eight and a half and eight and a half. And that'll fit in my art journal. And let's just draw a line here. I want to make this to where if I want to take this out, let's draw a line. Let's see how it takes this marker. Of course, it's not going to be straight. <laughs> Let's see what it does on the other side. It's kind of a... I can't describe it. They call it a masking paper, but it's, it's kind of... A, it's not a tissue paper, but I could see the trace if I wanted to. But it says you can paint on it. Let's put my tea there to hold it. And I want to maybe 10 and 10 and 3 fourths, 10 and 3 fourths here. And I can see 10 and 3 fourths there i must have did it wrong over here no is that straight <laughs> no this isn't straight that's the problem is this right ten no that was nine and three fourths harry you're such a well it's late i'm tired that's my excuse, and I'm sticking to it. This is a little crooked because this is probably crooked up here. Where is that T-square? Somebody sent me a T-square. What did I do with it? It's here. Let me find it here. Under my heat gun.
Well, that's what I did with it. I may put it back in the box. I'm just going to draw a line here. I think I'll go by this line. We'll just put it halfway in between. It doesn't have to be perfect. Nothing I do is perfect. This line's probably crooked because I didn't try to straighten it out. All right. So, what I want to do, I think I'll do this with marker. I don't know how an ink pen will draw on this. Let's try an ink pen up here. It draws pretty good. Well, let's see. Let's see where my... Um, here's a Sharpie. I use that and that and that and I'm getting my pens out here this is a fountain pen I don't know if it's this has got a pretty sharp blade it'll probably go here this is what I'm looking for all righty now, let's go to that Reminisce book, whatever I did with the Reminisce book. Did I throw it over there with everything? Or did I put it back down here? I have to move my chair and see what I did with the Reminisce book. I think I put it on the floor behind me. I did. We want to... I want to go back to that little girl that's... And this is an adult stream. This is not a children's stream. Even though I'm drawing a little girl. I'm going to to use this photo as a reference here. Hopefully I can. Just roll it up here. <laughs> get this book out. And get up closer. Ah. Let's see what you're saying. Lis Is that Lysia? Lisa says, I changed it to 720 and it's fine, but buffering a little bit. Oh, Lisa, it's been buffering all day today. Uh, Dee Dee gave up. Dee Dee had her mom on this morning. And they were going to color. And not only was it buffering for everybody, it was blurry. And she said she's not going to fool with it. She said she'll try it again tomorrow. But I, my own personal opinion is this is going to be like this until after Christmas. Holiday stuff. Lisa says, yes, Janet, but thin. It is to tape to the wall to keep paint off of the part below. Yeah, this is a masking paper. Yeah. That's true. It's a thin paper. You can almost see behind it. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you can see where the white is behind there, where the black, where my black paint is there. Ah, that was good. I could probably use this when I carve stamps. I need a heavy bottle of paint again. Let's get a full bottle here. <laughs> there we go. All right. So page 158. And, of course, it's on the right-hand side of the book. It's right here. So this is the picture that I'm going to use for inspiration. There's a little girl here, and she's looking in the store window at all these, you know. Um, window shutting was a treat for all ages. France, 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 Lardy admires dolls. 
below holiday rooms beckon at Marshall Field. So this is a Marshall Field's window display. And the little girl is looking in there. And it just caught my let's double it like this. Oh, let's move this over a little because it's not taped down. I should tape this down. That's what I should do. I want this to be a scroll. And I'll let it scroll. And at some point, I'll probably cut it off and put it in my journal. But we'll use it as a scroll. And I'm just letting the masking part fall into my lap. Where's my masking tape? Over here. Yeah, let's tape this down. Get rid of that paint on my table. Javana, I was asking in Aunt Beck's stream, what should I do tonight? You all told me to work in my jam journal, and I thought that was a good idea. Then Javana said, Mary, I haven't seen you do any illustration for a long time. You thought, so that's what I'm going to do. That caught because I afternoon and I thought it might be fun to work on it. And I like to do different things. I'll catch up on that gem journal. I'll catch up on it. All right. And I I was thinking while I was doing the while I was doing the ornaments with the metallic how fun it would be to do a stained glass for the january one instead of my failed dirty dozen all right i'm going to start with this and i think i'm going to start with the little girl down in here and then i'll just keep doing dolls and uh, there's a stand here and a doll up here on a stand and there's some little baby dolls and toys down in there. I'm going to draw an in ink. I think Dee Dee said that she was using a ballpoint. Um, I either use these water solubles. I get these at Dollar General. They're cheapy pens. You get them too. Um, you get two of them. I forget whether I pay a dollar or two dollars for these. But they're not expensive. And I like those INC ink pens that you get at the Dollar Tree. I haven't bought any of those for a long time, though. Okay, let's do the little girl down here. And this is just going to be kind of a quick illustration. But what I like about these is they're water-soluble. Let's see how the, this takes the water. Let's see how this paper it might wrinkle up a little on me. Now, she's not, she's not a large girl. So we don't want to make her look larger than she is. Her coat kind of comes in there. Mm. She's got a collar that kind of comes like that. And it looks like she's holding a purse. It looks like she's holding a pocketbook here. We'll give her a pocketbook. And then her hand is coming this way. We'll, we'll give her a little hand there. And uh, her head, her hat comes right up here to the edge of her, just a little bit of a neck. Um, maybe I need to zoom in a little for you. I haven't been watching chat. I'm, I'm off in my own world. There. Let's see what you guys are saying to me. Someone needs to invent a roll holder or something that would stand up behind the gel plate or to the side. Hmm. That would be interesting. So have the roll holder. That wouldn't be hard to do. Just have a bar or something in there. And just have it clamped to the table. <laughs> Have one of those big um, meat things. Probably could even use a, you could probably even use a wax paper box and tape it to this to your table while you're working on it. And then just pull it out, pull it, roll it from one side, have a box here and a box here. 
And uh, well, you probably want this side to dry though. So you could just pull it out this way from your wax paper and pull it over and do your gel print and just pull in it. You probably want to pull it off though and cut it off and let it dry. I kind of like that idea. Who said that? Invent the row holder. Who said that? Paper towel holder that stands. Violet said that. I'm not thinking of one that stands because I'm thinking of one that sits like a wax paper box so that you can just pull it this way. Like my like my uh my paper my wax paper boxes that I use when it's already that's what this could go in. <laughs> I've even got this paper tape crooked. I tell you, I've got a crooked eye. I've got a crooked eye. It's going this way. I'm just gonna go with it because that's how I that's how I taped it down. That I have discovered I've got a crooked eye. <laughs> Everything I do is crooked. There was a crooked Mary. All her art was crooked. Her cards were crooked. Her tags were crooked. She sent me crooked art. <laughs> All right. We're just going to kind of leave her little head blank for now. Put her little ear there. She's got a little coat on right here. We're going to make it a there. And then her, her knees come this way. Whoops. Maybe a little. She's just a little girl. Like that. And you can kind of see the other leg there. And she's got kind of wrinkly socks. It looks like she's got little warm woolen socks on. And her shoes kind of tie. Those saddle shoes. So this is what, 19 doesn't give a date. I would say in the 1940s probably or 1950s. Saddle shoes were a 1950s thing. Well, maybe not that thick. And then the other shoe is here. All right, we'll kind of leave it there. And let's see, down in here. Oh, you guys can't see it. That's because I zoomed in. You can't see the reference photo. You can only see me sketching, but I zoomed in so you could see my sketch. Let's see what you're saying. Uh, we're talking about the paper towel. I gotta go, Lisa says. Bye, Lisa. Good night. Have a blessed night. Arlene says, aluminum foil box, yeah, with a cutting edge on it, yes. That's what I was thinking. And maybe, uh, you know, you can get those big, uh, those big wide aluminum foils the, and, and those that uh, strong aluminum foil. That's what my brother uses when he broils his meat. He likes to use that really heavy aluminum foil. But it's got a real heavy box to it and a strong cutter. That might be a good thing to use. Holly's laughing at something. Good. A crooked eye that lived in a crooked face. That's all crooked drawings. That's me, Holly. Mary, what tape did you use? when you add washi tape out of the fact. Um, Mary, too, I use the, you can get double-sided duct tape, the, the duct tape, D-U-C-K. Um, it costs about $10 for a row. And I don't think I saved the packaging, but let me show it to you here. Let me reach down here. Let's see if I saved the packaging. I don't know if I saved the packaging here. Let me reach down and... This is what it looks like. Um, let's see. Did I say the packaging? Let me look. No. 
Um, this, this, I didn't save the packaging from this either. This came from uh, Home Depot. And it's kind of an off-brand. I would not recommend that. If you go to Home Depot, they did not have the duct tape. This is a much better. And I'll tell you, the price point's about the same. I'm going to knock all my postcards off. Let me straighten them up. Um, price point's about the same. You get a little bit less little bit smaller row or maybe I just used more of the duct tape I don't remember you'd have to compare the yardage and everything but what I don't like about this is it's gooey it's gooey I and mean, it sticks to everything like my fingers I can put it on here and I can literally pull that it, it just sticks to my fingers like like a I don't know I don't like it this is the duct tape. It's a double-sided carpet tape. I got mine at Menards. I got mine at Menards. But see this, it doesn't pull apart. I can, and it sticks to my fingers like tape should, but it doesn't pull off. This, this pulls and, and, you know, it, it's, it's gooey. Uh, I would not recommend this for our purposes, for our fabric washi tape. Uh, it, I just don't like it for that because it's just, you know, like here, I put my finger right there and I can just pull. I can pull on it like that. Like this. Look at that. I don't like that. I don't think that would serve our purposes very well. I'm just going to put it back here. I'll put clean it up and then I got it all over my fingers <laughs> uh, but this this has got a nice this has a strong tack to it it's tacky it's I mean I could it's but look I can I can pull this way and it isn't pulling up like it did there so I recommend the duct tape um, but it's double-sided carpet tape is what it is that's what I used and and this is what I would recommend and I think I, I paid about the same. I might have gotten a little bit more of this, but it's not worth it if you ask me for our purposes. It might work really well for the purpose it was made for to hold your carpet down. You know, they, they didn't make it for fabric washi tape. They made it to hold the carpet down to the, to the so it wouldn't slip all over the floor. So that answers that question. I didn't save the packaging. I thought I did. If I did, it's tucked down in here with where I can't see it. Let me get my drawer straightened out here now. Yeah. What am I doing? There we go. What did Holly say? I'm losing you guys. That looks like a lot of mess. Yeah. <laughs> She's going to be so excited. Holly says, my buddy who's six years old, my first granddaughter, found her a scrapbooking kit for kids with a handled case with 750 pieces at Walmart for Christmas. Oh, cool, Holly. Yay. That's neat, Holly. It has everything in it, you know, and that just sparks a child's imagination when they have all of that. That just sparks their imagination. Okay, I got this little girl, and uh, let's draw the window. Her The window comes right into here, and uh, here's the picture again so you guys can see the picture. Here's the little girl here. The windows really towers above her. This is a Marshall's Field window. 40s. It's talking about toys. This is a reminisce book. I'm just kind of sketching from that photo just for fun. So we're going to do a window in here. 
And we're just, I don't like it slanting so much, though. Let's make it more like this. Let's make it more like this. Like that. And the window goes way up here. And I have all these dollies in the window. So let's stop. Let's start with a. I kind of have to hold this in an angle so I can see. It has a stand in here. It has a stand, like a glass stand. Something like that. And it's got a doll. She's got a big skirt and she's seated. It looks like one of those pin cushion dolls with the, she's seated like this. She's got her skirt coming out this way. And she's sitting down. And then her legs are, are coming out this way. Little doll legs. Little doll legs. And I guess the other one's kind of going up this way. Something like that. And she's got a real skinny waist. And she's an arms away doll. Her hands are held like so. Uh, like that. And her head is tilted. Can I do that? Her head is kind of tilted this way. Sort of like that. Good enough for a quick sketch. And there's all sorts of dolls here. There's a little boy doll here. And it looks like he's got a plaid shirt or something on. I can't see what's going on with him. Looks like he might have a, 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 a winter woolen plaid. Like a Scotsman or something. Scots, you know, Scottish. And then he's got a sleeve there. And it falls into the... It falls into the... It's all dark in there. I can't see what's going on. And then there's a little doll. Like a little Japanese doll seated down here. A lot of little dolls. A little sleeve there, little hand cup. He's got a little round hat on. I'm not going to try the faces. I'm too tired to do faces. I'm just going to do shapes. No, no, no. If you guys can make sense out of this or not, I suppose if I put some color on here, but I am drawing from a black and white photograph <laughs> yeah let's see what else is going on here looks like this is a glass shelf here I'm not sure what's going on it looks like there might be some jewelry in there but there's another little doll she's larger she's even larger than this little boy doll here he's got a hat on And behind him is a little girl doll who's got a, a big wide collar, a double collar. And she's got a big brimmed hat. I'm never going to get all these dolls on this page. They're just not going to fit. I'll just do what I can. And then she's kind of got a her collar comes this way and her arm, you can only see a little bit of her arm. It's hidden behind something there. Looks like more jewelry or beads or something. She's got to just see a little bit of her arm and a little bit of her dress coming in there. And she's got a really sweet little face that I'm not sure I'm getting. And a band around her hat. Her hat comes way down like that. Only it's prettier. I don't know what I did with her hat there. Getting all these little dolls in here is nitpicky. 
And then there's a little doll standing up, and all you can see is her face in there. Let's go over here and let's do one of these. There's a bust of a lady. There's also jewelry in this display because this is a not a doll. This is a lady's head and torso, and she's wearing jewelry. She's one of those jewelry models things. She's got all sorts of beads and jewels on. She's got beautiful head up here. And a big neck, a long neck. And there's tables of jewels here. There's all sorts of jewelry sitting on this counter. And coming down into here. I'm not going to put it all in because it's too detailed. And then next to her is another little doll. They put the dolls with all the jewelry so that the mommy would see the all the little dolls when they were looking for jewelry. And said, oh, I better get a dolly for my daughter or my granddaughter. This one has a little collar this way. She's got a little round face, little bangs. I'm not sure I'm getting it right, but I can always redo it like that. Maybe not that big like that. <sighs> and there's all sorts of jewelry coming down in here, a little stand of jewels here. What not. And then there's a dolly standing up behind her. And she's got kind of a dress that flares out. I'm right in there. She's got a little arm coming this way. She's got a little dress. It's kind of a layered dress. Kind of flares out that way. Comes up this way. She's got a little hat around. They're wearing hats. The dollies are all wearing hats. This is a Marshall Field store. These dolls are dressed to kill. And there's another dolly in here behind this one. I can barely see her. We'll put her head in there. She's got a little collar. Just kind of getting hints of dolls in there. And then there's another bust. Like this lady is not a real lady. She's a, a department store bust where they hang the, you know, I forget what they call them. A bust. <laughs> Where they hang all the jewels off of them. And this lady's a black lady. I guess that's what you would say to be nice. And then behind her is another dolly. No wonder that little girl's at the window. There are all sorts of little dollies in this window. And she's got a ruffled dress that I'm just kind of quick sketching in here. And a little ruffled top up here. And then she's got a hat that covers most of her area up in here. You can hardly see her head. You can see her little arm there. Whew! And then there's another dolly over here. I'm getting tired of drawing dollies. And she's... I'm just going to kind of put a little head in there with hair. And she's a standing doll. She's got a dress on. 
I'm tired. <laughs> and then this is all in here. I think this is all little boxes of jewelry. Little boxes of jewelry and and uh you can kind of see this doll's feet coming down this way. This is a glass case here. And there's just like kind of beads in here. And necklaces. That was when you didn't, the store owners didn't have any reservation about Displaying things in the window like this with all the jewelry. There's a whole bunch of jewelry just dangling down here. Little cases and boxes and stuff like that. Then there's a little stuffed puppy dog. Let's see, I'm just going to put him... He's really off into here, but I'm going to move him over here because... I can draw him better. A little stuffed puppy dog over here with a little nose. Little nose. Little ear. And his body is behind there. I suppose he's got some little feet in there somewhere. Kind of like that. And... There's a little ballerina doll up in here. She's a straw her little ballerina dress is here. Her legs come down like that. And she comes up into a torso. You can barely see her head. It's right in there. And then there's more jewelry just hanging down here. Now there's a doll. There's a doll up in here, right here, this white one. This white one. But I can't get her in there, so I'm going to move her over here where I got all this space. And let's see if I can draw her with any sense of proportion she's got a beautiful dress on she's kind of got a fur she's all dressed out for winter her fur kind of comes up over that way and she's got a hat that kind of comes up like that and that dress might be a little much she kind of comes down like that and goes in like that. And the dress comes like that. You can kind of see her little bloomers in there. And her little legs, little doll legs. And that fur kind of comes down that way. And you can kind of see her shoes and another little doll leg coming this way and you can kind of see her shoe she doesn't have to be perfect i'm just kind of sketching her in i don't have her face i didn't put faces in and then I'm going to leave all of this dark in here because it's all dark. I can't see what's going on. So, that's my reference photo. Let's, I don't know how much of this, I'm going to zoom out one because I'm not sure how much of this you guys can see. Come on. Where are you hiding? Where are you hiding? Yeah. Come on. Let's go out one. Now, let's see what I did here. Yeah. 
All right, that may not have been a good idea to tape it down. Let's put this away. That's all I'm going to do for there. And then I'm just going to, I should use watercolor. We'll see how that will take, how it will take. Let me roll this up because if I get up, it's going to roll off the desk. Let's put that there. <laughs> Let's reach over here. I've got these someplace. What did I do with them? What did I do with my watercolors? <sighs> See, this is the story. I should be able to go right to my watercolors. I had them over here. Now I don't know what I did with them. That bothers me. I had them right here. Did I put them in that drawer? <laughs> did I put them away? I think I did. I put them away. I got the Daniel Smith that Petals sent me, and I got these Jane Davenport's. The Jane Davenport's. When I can't find something, sometimes I put it away. And I need some of those paint brushes that I knocked over. We're going to see how this masking paper takes water. I'm going to move it over a little. I'm going to untape it and move it to the center of the desk a little. Yeah. I don't know about leaving it on the scroll. I like to leave it on the scroll, but we'll see how that eventually works. And I think when I get some color on here, you guys will be able to see this a little better. I'm not sure how this paper is going to take water, but we're going to find out. I need a round brush. Those are all flats. You would think with all those brushes that I knocked over... <laughs> yeah. Here, maybe these. Just craft brushes. They're just craft brushes. That's the one I really like. And I take such rotten care of my brushes. Just cheapy brushes. Okay. Let's see what you guys are saying to me. I'm in my own world. What are you saying? Aunt Beck said she'd be right back. Jersey gives Aunt Beck a heart. Carla says, wow. What is Mary sketching from? A photo in a book? Yes, Laura. I was sketching from a little girl looking in a window. Uh, window shopping at Christmas in Marshall Fields. It's an older photo. Reminisce out of the Reminisce book, and I just used it as a reference. I just sketched in the and I did this with this pen. Now, this pen is water soluble. Let's just scribble up here and I'll show you what I mean. Let's just dip, dip one of these brushes in water. Uh, well, it's not eh, a little. But it's a water soluble. When I go watercoloring, it will turn my watercolor shade it. It'll shade it a little. Um, Arlene said, "Be right back." Holly said, "That's annoying enough by itself." Oh, good, Holly. I feel you. Feel you on the tired. You guys, if you're tired, you know I. I want you to go get your rest. 
I don't want you to feel like you have to watch me just because I'm on. <laughs> Mary, if you are too tired to go rest yourself, <laughs> Susan says. Um, yeah, what time is it? It's 945. I, I don't go till 12 o'clock tonight, but I do. I'll work on this. And I worked on that Society of Idea Collector. We opened Happy Mail. And uh, I'm working on, got this sheet of paper from uh, Suzanne. This is mask. Laura, this is some of that paint masking paper. Uh, Suzanne sent me a roll of it. Here, let me roll it up. And I'm using it. I'm using it. Laura used, Jersey used this. This is where I first saw and I'm using it scroll, scroll, scroll type like a Dee Dee does. Let's let's just put some color on this and see what happens. I have a feeling it's going to wrinkle a little, but we'll see. Come on, get these open. I'm going to use this brush for the background. We're going to pin a, put in a dark blue. Pit in it. Pit in it. We're going to pit it on. <laughs> I'm just not talking straight. I probably will not stay on real late tonight because I do want to stream tomorrow morning. Usually when I stream on Wednesday nights, I'm, I'm tired the next morning. What did I do with that brush? It's here. Let's get my brush wet. Let's just dip it in there and put some dark color on there just for the fun of it we're just doing this for fun all of this is going to fall into the background it'll be interesting to see how this paper takes the water it's not doing too bad. It's not doing too bad. It'll crinkle a little. It's just paper. It's not watercolor paper. Let's get some of this. See what that. Ooh, that's a pretty blue. Let's do some of that in here. Ooh, that's pretty. I like that blue. These watercolors. These Jane Davenport watercolors I got from Deborah Mayo. Oh, it has to be a cup. Well, it was my first year down here, which would have been in 2016. So I've had these a couple years, and I just keep using them. I'll tell you, I appreciated it. I probably would have never bought these on my own. And Lucia sent me some uh, Paul Rubens that I want to get out and use. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and dry this. Usually watercolor artists do not dry. Where's my heat gun? Where did it run off to? Come back, heat gun. That's my phone cord. Let's dry it. It's actually taking that water pretty good. Let's call this a real fast illustration, like you saw this young girl out shopping, and you happen to be standing there, and her sitting looking in the window caught your attention. Looking at all those dollies on there. Now the photo's black and white, so I have to use my imagination. I'm going to give her a red. We're going to give her a, a red coat here just because it's Christmassy. And a red hat. And let's go in with a darker red here, too. Kind of a brownish red. 
underneath here. And I knocked some of my postcards over. You don't want to see this room. I'll tell you. <laughs> oh, it's horrible in here. All right, this is all gray in here because it's the side of the building. So let's just use this. What they call, what do they call this? Scrap gray? Uh, it might even be brown kind of what happens on your dirty gray on your palette here. You don't clean that off into the building here. And it really urban sketching and you're sketching a person. You know, they may be there for two seconds. You know, it's cold out. She's not going to sit there and look at that wind. Well, she may look for a while, but she's going to get cold and move on. So you got to work fast. Now, I think I want this a little bit darker yet. And I'm loving this blue over here. And I think I'm going to go for more blue in there. And maybe even in here with her face. Right in there. And... We're just going to kind of... Let those dolls just, they're not going to be detailed. They're just going to be little figurines in the window. We'll give them some color. You could be here all, all night drawing this if you did all the detail. Oops, got him a little blue. Let me just put some lighter blue down in here because that's kind of a glass case with all the jewelry and stuff in it. Yeah, I want this a little bit more defined though. Uh, kind of like that. And she's holding, let's give her a purse that she's holding here. She's holding her purse. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I missed that. Her arm there. Now I'm going to have to know this doll is all in white. And I, I guess I do have a white. Let's see how white will show up on here. Yeah, it's showing up pretty good. This little dolly's all dressed in white. So let's just dress her all in white. And all these other dollies are are different colors. Let's make this one a little yellow hat. Maybe a darker yellow. A little orange in there. Hat. And she's got a little dress on here. It kind of comes out that way. Yeah. I don't know how much of this white is going to eventually show up. Let's make this as one of those. One of those store mannequins. That's what I was thinking of. A mannequin. Mannequin there. 
And this is another Nanny Canoni in here, only she's a dark one in there. Let's make her. Does it ain't making any sense to you? I'm just kind of putting in all the different colors right now. Oh, there's, let's see, this is a, I need a purple color. Maybe a pink in here, pink dress in here. I forget, I, I lose track. This little boy had a, had a, a jack, a dark blue, almost black, torso, and he had a tartan on, a plaid. And uh, let's just kind of color some of this in. I'd like that blue to be even darker. I don't know if I'm gonna get it any darker. Now I'm imagining what the colors might have been because this is Christmas. I suppose some of those dolls back there are wearing red like she is. And a pretty dark, dark red here. Maybe dark red on her hat and dark red in there. Wash that out and just go in with that bright red. Bright red in here. And of course the colors dry kind of standing back here. Because it's Christmas. We're going to give one a green dress. We need a, a green green. It's the greenness we're going to get. Let's see. Uh, we're going to give it to her here. Uh, I forget what kind of a dress. She had a very ruffly dress on. We'll just kind of do a little figurine in there. A hint of a doll. And let's put a little green down in there. Let's pull it down into here. Maybe make it a darker green down in here. Uh, darker green. Kind of interesting that you can uh, watercolor on this paper. It's kind of wrinkly, and it's kind of interesting to see how that white is is kind of drying, not white. <laughs> Some white. I guess it might show up more white than what I'm seeing it as.
It's an awful busy window. It's an awful busy window. There's a lot going on in there. It's a store window. They want you to buy dolls and jewelry. They want you to buy dolls and jewelry. And stuffed animals. A little stuffed dog here. And let's see. I think I'll put another... Uh, down in there just to just to get it Christmassy and she's got probably has black hair I think I'm going to, I'm not going for a lot of uh, realism here. I'm just putting shapes. I'm just putting shapes in here. Just put some. Should change to a smaller brush at some point to do. Let's do this little guy down here. doesn't doesn't really oh, is that dark gray it's almost a black for this figure in here now let's dry that Paper's kind of curling there. Kind of treating it like I would a tag. You know how you get a tag wet, and when you use a a pencil or something, when you dry it and kind of smooth it out. Now, what I want to do, what I think I want to do, is define it a little bit more. But I don't know if I want to use a sharpie or a pen. Or what? Oops. 
this isn't, isn't completely dry. Oops. There goes my phone. Good night, Arlene. Hi, Pink Girly. I'm just playing, Pink Girly. I'm just playing with a, a photo that I saw in the book of a little girl probably in the 1940s. I need a... I don't know if I want to use my... This is almost going to be too broad, I think. Let's try it. I don't like to do a lot of heavy outlining on her, but... And this is really just a fast sketch because uh, it would take me all night to do a to do a really detailed piece. And these are little dolls in the window, but also in this window was they were selling jewelry because they have a couple of they got a display case here with mannequins couple of mannequins mixed in with all the dolls and they're wearing jewelry and then the dolls I'm not putting faces on the dolls so I don't want to spend the time I'm just kind of putting in the shapes and there's a jewelry stand here a glass one and then there's a little doll. Let's get let's put these out of the way. There's a doll in here. She's actually wearing a kind of a ruffly dress. And I guess I kind of Got her hidden in there. And then there's another doll with a hat. They're all wearing, all these dolls have hats on. It's kind of interesting. How many dolls do you see today wearing hats? Big old bonnet hats. And I guess I had another doll in here. And I really didn't define her too well in there. She's just kind of in there. And this one. Had a layered dress. And this was a little stuffed puppy. And I didn't color that one at all. <laughs> She's I guess she's going to be black and white. And then there are a whole bunch of beads. A whole bunch of beads coming down this way. And kind of a bead stand. And I'm not going to put the face in on the little girl. She's holding a purse. How does that look to you? How is that looking? Can't see it. It is what it is. What it is, what it is. Let me get my water over here so I can prop my phone up. I think for a quick sketch, I'm going to call it done for a quick sketch. Just as an inspiration. Uh, dolls in... Christmas window, I'll call it. <sighs> uh, 
I should put down in here. Where's my Sharpie? Uh, photo reference. Photo reference. A reminisce book. Uh, 12, 18, 19. And I'm just going to call that done. It's just a quick sketch. I wanted to primarily see if I could water paper, watercolor on this. Uh, this is uh, that masking paper. I guess if I tape it. Down, I've got to be careful of pulling it up with masking tape. I just wanted to see how it would work. It's just a quick little doll sketch. A little girl looking in the window at the dollies. This is, I guess I could draw that window a little better. This is the window here. The store window. <laughs> and uh, Dee, Dee, Dee Dee eventually, I think, takes all of her, her sketches off of the off of the roll. We're just going to call it a scroll for right now. Let's put my watercolors aside to dry. What time is it getting to be? Oh, my Goodness, this room is a mess. <laughs> I love it. I guess I should leave this out. Leave it this way, maybe. I don't want it to fall. Leave it that way. Let's zoom out. What else did I do tonight? I opened Happy Mail and... Uh, I did the thrift haul. That's about all I did tonight. No jam journals. I did put the link to the 25 days of Christmas in the description box below. I probably won't get a good start on that again until after I get these postcards out. And then I'll go back to my jam journal and everything. Hold it a minute here. Open this up so I can see this better, maybe. Of course, I can't see a thing with that. I'm not sure how much of this you can see. I'm not sure I'm really totally happy with it because it's not real defined in here. Got little feet and another little foot coming that way. And she's not real defined, just is more of a shape. You kind of have to know what you were looking at, I think. But you know, doing quick sketches like this, they do, even though it's not detailed. They give you a sense of composition. Uh, when you start putting things down on a page, and I'm going, okay, this little girl's down in this corner, and she's this high. I realized that this doll was really over here, but there was no way I was going to get her on this page. So I moved her over there. She's kind of floating in the air, but you have to understand that this is a window display. There's probably a stand back behind there that we're not seeing. And this little puppy dog, which you probably can't see very well, he was he was over here, but since I made her real close to this, this is a glass display with jewelry hanging down. Jewelry. And, oh, man. See, I know what I drew. There's a doll here. She's kind of got her arms up. And this is her dress. I kind of knew what I drew on here. She's got 
her legs are kind of coming out from under her dress. So I'm not sure if anybody would see this, if they would understand that all of the figures on here. But I guess what I'm saying is, by doing this, you get a sense of composition on your page. Be happy with the composition of this. And it doesn't have to, this version for a book or something, you might take your composition like this layout but now i have to do this in detail i have to put all this jewelry in in detail or i have to make these dolls more real look more like dolls so but i spent a good amount of time just doing that but i'm happy with it in the end if you let's see what you're saying here if you put some straight lines with white paint or Prismacolor, like a glare on a glass, yes, I could do that. Let's see. How about this chalk to start with? You mean like some straight lines like, uh, well, I guess I need a better. I was thinking that chalk pen would work. Put it here. Let's try this. Uh, try my white out here. For a glare on glass, even on here. Well, got to get it going. Like that. Like that. You don't need too much of it. You don't want too much. Something like that is what you're talking about. And I'm not sure you're seeing it because I zoomed out. Are you seeing my white lines that I put in there? <laughs> I can't put heavy paint bottle on there to keep it. <laughs> Maybe one down in here someplace. You don't want too many on there. That better? You can see. You can see them. That's perfect. <laughs> good suggestion. A really good suggestion. I'm happy with the composition. I'm happy with the composition. I don't. And I'm. I find it. Let me set my phone down again. The back. Well, of course, you can see where the ink came through the dark marker but uh, you know that that watercolor did not soak through the ink soaked through paper to work on as far as doing quick sketches like this I mean you probably wouldn't want to do finished artwork but this is kind of fun to work on now it would be real fun that was with watercolor it might be fun to do like an acrylic ink the same type of thing with acrylic ink, only maybe zero in on the little girl instead of making her four inches tall, make her, you know, make her taller and and do her more in detail. That would be a challenge, but that's not anything I'm up to for right now. <laughs> so I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to leave her on here without... I guess I'll just hold that roll in my lap for a while. So it is almost 1030. Ah, oh, thank you, Paint Girly. Coming from you, Paint Girly, do you do, I know you do those light bulbs and you do that type of work. Do you do any painting or illustrating? You've got, I know you've got a good sense of color. Paint Girlie's name is Lori. Susan says, I have some scroll paper. I love making scrolls to hang. I think Dee Dee eventually cuts hers off. Of course, she works really big. Dee Dee works on a big, huge scroll paper. 
but I think I prefer doing it this size so I can fit it into my art journal. Let's see, what else did I miss here? That was a good indication, that was a good suggestion about the glass, the white lines. Good call, Susan. Let's see, Lisa and Carla had to say good night. Becky said good night. <laughs> well, Mary, how do you like the paper? I like the paper. I like the paper. I'll probably use it for, for other things too, not just for drawing on. But I like it for a scroll. I like doing this tonight. <laughs> Thank you, Suzanne. I won't guarantee I'll use it all the time because I'm working on so many different things. But I think this might be nice to work to when I'm doing my stamps because it's so thin. I could probably, I don't know, be interesting to see how how uh, the graphite would transfer from this because it feels, it's almost like a, um, it's not a coated paper. Um it's just, I don't know. It feels almost, I want to say almost like a brown parchment paper. It's a masking paper, but it does not feel like a paper. It doesn't feel like paper. It kind of, I don't know. It almost feels like a parchment paper in a way to me, but maybe I'm, that's my imagination. <laughs> so you'll be seeing me use it. I'm going to go ahead and say good night to all of you because I need to get up early in the morning. And I know you all have big days ahead of you. And tomorrow I'll probably work on some stamp carving. I'm going to work in my December daily. Maybe I'll do some work in my gem journal. I want to varnish some stamp some more of my postcards. So I, get, I want to get them out on Friday. So I'm going to be really working on those during the day tomorrow. So thank you all for coming and hanging out with me. <laughs> Have a great evening. Um, let's see, tomorrow's Thursday. So uh, did Becky say if she was going to stream tomorrow afternoon? Sometimes she streams on Thursday afternoons too. So if she does stream tomorrow, it'll probably be around 3 Eastern. Um, then uh, Beth Schuler will stream tomorrow night. Vicki Ross streams sometime around 4 or 4.30 Central. And uh, I'll stream tomorrow morning early, Friday night. That's kind of where we're going with the streams. So good night, everybody. Have a great evening. Bye.